Rosalind Bacani. Towners who traveled the farthest to get here? New Jersey? <laughs> Florida. Florida! Oh. What part? Tampa. Nice. Are you here to see anyone? Yes, my boyfriend. Awesome. Well, cool. So, where, where's Shibu Wabu? Who, oh, yeah, I, I play the piano. Just a disclaimer I played the piano not by choice, but I was forced to play the piano growing up. Um, I wish I fit that typical Asian persona where I was pre-genetically disposed to having a career sought out for me. Um, that the minute I came out of the womb, I was either a nurse, an engineer, a um, nail technician, <laughs> or taking over the family business of dry cleaning. <laughs> but although I look Asian, I'm not your typical Asian. For one thing, I did not score 1,600 on my SATs. I did not go to NYU. Uh, I suck at math, but I know the basic fundamentals of economics enough that I will not do anything for $5. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I mean, it was, an all, it was a beautiful day out today. Did anyone get to go walk around during work? Yeah. It, was like, it was like 67 degrees. And I mean, I was coming in tonight on the train, I noticed that, you know, some girls thought it was like the 4th of July. It wasn't like a holiday. <laughs> like they were wearing like Dukes, Daisy Dukes, and like, you know, wearing their trampy outfit out. Like, oh yeah. Um, it's, you know. Uh, but um, I'm glad it's not the weekend just yet because I live in the capital of the world where it's acceptable for men to wear jeans tighter than their girlfriends. So for your native New Yorkers, that's Williamsburg. So when did, it be okay, when did it become okay for guys to wear jeans that are tighter than their girlfriends? I mean, also, I, I also question the vision of the women that live in Williamsburg because they settle for guys that look like Drop Dead Fred <laughs> that don't give a fuck on how they dress. But uh, yeah, I'm glad that the L train is working and I don't have to take the JMZ, which I call the JISM line. <laughs> um, well, a quick fact. Um, does everyone like Jay-Z? Like, yeah. Well, for those of you um, that don't know where his name originated from, he lives off the Jay-Z line, the Marcy Projects, which is the first stop out of side of Manhattan, hence the name Jay-Z. So that's my contribution to Black History Month. <laughs> you know, I, I was wondering where like this whole History Month thing came about. So I did some research saying, where, where's the Asian Heritage Month? And uh, you know, Wikipedia came up and I found out until the early 1900, 1900, 1992, that we only had a week. I was like, what the fuck? And guess of all people who mandated that it last a month. George Bush. He's like, oh, this is not right. Let's have it for a month. So at least he gave us 31 days. This year was a leap year, so you got 29 days. So good for that. Um, are you guys sick of the insanity yet? Yes. You're sick of it? Yeah, me too, because my friends, um, unfortunately, I'm the only Asian person that they know. And all of a sudden, I become Jeremy Lin's publicist. <laughs> So before I used to care about the Knicks, that was in the early 90s when John Starks and Patrick Ewing played. But now like I have to be current on you know, his stats, when they're playing, if they're away. And then the latest headline that came out was, not the latest, but the headline that everyone turned to me and asked my reaction was when the ESPN writer wrote, chink in the armor, when the insanity streak went down. And I was like, I mean, that's a good throwback of an, the expression, chicken in the armor. I mean, I haven't heard that since medieval times. Like, I'm not offended. I mean, it's not like you said someone was to put MSG in that gook's beef and broccoli. No wonder why he gave up nine turnovers and was sleepy the entire game. Don't order the lunch special, number 17, it's no good. So, I mean, to top that off, 
I mean, Ben and Jerry's even named the ice cream after him. Linsanity, and then again, you know, this is in the headlines. They're like, oh, they put fortune cookie shavings in there. <laughs> Big whoop, it's like General Chow is not good. Frozen. <laughs> so, I mean, imagine when Jerry Garcia's ice cream came out, Cherry Garcia, would there be an uprise if there was little nuggets of weed strategically placed in there? I don't think anyone would get upset about that. But, um, the, is, do we have any Giants fans in here? Woo. Yeah. yeah. Second year, I mean second year, second time kicking the New England Patriots butt. Love it. Uh, the best part of it all was when Giselle was all pissed off and she was asking everyone to pray for her. Tommy, he needs this. And then they were following her. She's like, my husband can't throw and catch all the balls. It's like, yeah, Giselle, way to stand by your man. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if Tom Brady reciprocates the same thing for her when he goes and sees her at Fashion Week. If he's at the front rows, judging the way everyone walks and says, learn how to walk. My wife can't wear all the outfits down the catwalk. <laughs> yeah. I'm the UG. I'm the UG spokesman. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize that they still televise hockey and apparently the Rangers are number one. Like, who knew? We, yeah. Um, has anyone had an experience with Craigslist roommates here? Yeah? Good or bad? Awful. Yeah. Awful. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm learning. Um, I you know, recently had a Craigslist roommate, and um, you know, everything was working out fine for like the first couple weeks. You know, she was very cordial. Uh, she was respectful of the shower time. You know, she got out when she needed to, and I went in. When, and then um, uh, I noticed that it was that time of the month, and I keep my tampons in this little area in the bathroom. And the, these aren't the tampons that are on sale. These are the Cadillac of tampons. They're the Tampax Pearl, OK? So she stuck, you know, she started going in my stash. I know there's three missing. I'm like, all right, shit ain't right. She's fucking with my flow here. So I'm like, hey, Erica, you know, you're stash you know, you're messing up my flow here. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll replace them. Next day, I look down, there's these three missiles. They're fucking OB tampons. It's like, guys, I know I feel like I've washed you, but imagine if you were needed Magnum condoms and someone replaced them with a Ziploc bag. How mad would you be? Um, so I'll leave you with this. So I, I work at an event marketing agency where there's no dress code. So I get to wear sneakers every day. So it's a special occasion. These are my Manola Blahniks for the special occasion. So all the girls I work with, they wear like horseback riding boots or the high set Han Solo boots for you guys that don't know what those look like. So what I do is the reverse. Like, so usually people wear sneakers to the train and then they change into their Han Solo boots or whatever their work boots are. But for me, I wear my sneakers and I invested in a pair of Han Solo boots solely for the fact that when I need to go rip some ass, they won't know it's me. <laughs> Thank you. And thank God I got